Well, you started uh, competing kind of like a, in, in your early years. Mm. Uh, what was, it must have been hard. I mean, you know, we can only imagine what it's like to get up and train and prepare for these, uh, for these amazing challenges you've got ahead of you. How, how was that? Well, when I was young, it, you don't really think about it. You just mm. get on. You know, it's, it's, it's just something that I enjoyed. I enjoyed winning, firstly. Um, and I think with athletes, there's something pure about it because it's just you against someone else and it's either you're quicker or you're not. You know, all of those bits and pieces. Oh, I really love that. Um, as you develop as an athlete, as you can imagine, the pressure increases. Mm. You know, the first time you put on that Great Britain rest, for example, that's completely different than competing in, you know, your local park, for argument's sake, you know. Um, and those those pressures were real, but I always battered them off by realising that what I wanted to achieve was more than any other outside pressures. There were times when pressure obviously would have got to me, especially as a youngster. And I had to learn how to get over that, and I learned fairly quickly how to get over that. Um, but yeah, there was, you know, balancing the pressure was quite hard. Because you can imagine, if you go out to compete, and I'll give you an example, you know, an Olympic Games, Think how many millions of people there are on TV watching you. Not just that, you then start thinking about all of the people that you've grown up with can then be watching you on TV. <laughs> and then you've got potential sponsors. Then you've got your national governing body. You've got your coach. You might have your family in the stands. You don't want to let them down, all of that stuff. And I actually remember from my first Olympic Games, my family was so scared for me, thinking, what about if he messes this up? What if it doesn't go well? And I just said to him, you need to realise that I have achieved one of my dreams already because I've qualified for the Olympic Games. And when I qualified for the Olympic Games, actually, it was by surprise. So that was another big shock to people. Um, but when I went out there to compete, there's so many people was wishing me well. You know, walking out, people shouting my name and stuff. I just thought, well, how can I fail out here? You know, people are showing me such love, I suppose, really. They're just, it, it took me by surprise. Um, and so I actually went up went out there and really enjoyed myself and actually done myself justice at my, my first senior outing 